Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can create a two-color black and white threshold on the Fusion tab using nodes in DaVinci Resolve 16. So to do this, start with any clip you want and jump over to the Fusion tab in the middle. So at the bottom here we have the media in, the media out. We're going to need to add a total of five nodes in order to get this effect to work. So the first one we need is going to be an right click add tool and then do matte and choose luma keyer. After we get our keyer settings right for one color, whether that's black, white, or whatever you want to change the color to, we're going to duplicate this and invert it. In addition to the two luma keyers, we're going to need two brightness contrast nodes. So we can find that in add tool and go to color brightness contrast. So we need two of these, one to adjust the color to white and one to adjust the color to black. So I'll right click these and rename them. I'll call the one on top the B for black uh, contrast node. And then the one on bottom, I will call the W for white. So next I'm going to connect the media end to the Luma Kia node so we can see what it is allowing and not allowing to pass through. So on the Luma Kia, everything that you see allowed through here is going to be up for colorizing with one of these two brightness contrast nodes. So what we'll do first is find the settings we like for what should turn into a white color and then make a copy of the node and invert it and feed that into the black brightness contrast node. So to control what is and isn't being keyed out, you can use the slider bar at the top. If you click on the low ends, that's going to be the very bright areas that you're filtering out. And if you click on the high end of the slider, you can reduce the number of dark areas which are being filtered out by the Luma keyer. For me, I'm going to want to turn the sky completely black, so I'm going to want to make sure that still gets keyed out. And I'll drag this over to where I think it's pretty good. So right around there looks good. You can still see the lighting effects going through the keyer. Most of the buildings are still visible. So I will feed this to the white brightness contrast node and put that in the right preview window for now. So with the white brightness contrast node, in order to make the color here turn white, I believe how it was is we need to turn the gain up to 5 and then the saturation down to 0, which will make everything black and white. So next we need to take the Luma keyer and duplicate it here and then just hit invert. So if I preview this on the left side, nothing will show yet because media N isn't feeding into that. So we need to bring media N to the top Luma keyer again. But as soon as I hit invert, you'll get an opposite of what was keyed out on the bottom node. So we feed this to the black brightness contrast, which I'll preview over here on the right. And then to turn this black, we just need to take the gain and turn that to zero. So now we can merge these two nodes together for the final media out. To do that, right click, add tool, composite, merge, and feed the white brightness node into the bottom and the black brightness node as the green line there. So now we take this and we put it to media out. And if we preview this on the right side now, we can see that everything in the shot has been turned to either white or black. Once you have this setup, you're pretty much there. One thing you can do though, if you want to make the threshold effect as powerful as possible and not have any of these in between kind of black, kind of white areas, what you can do to eliminate those areas is to go to the Luma keyer on top for the black brightness contrast and ramp the gamma down to zero. So that will give you those incredibly hard edges and at this point everything is either pure white or pure black. So if you want that pure two color threshold where everything is either hard white or hard black, that's going to be about as close as you can get it in DaVinci Resolve. You may decide that you want to raise the gamma a little bit more past that so that it's more blurred and that there is a little bit of in between. It's kind of up to you on exactly what you want. Okay, so just really quickly before we wrap up this video, I did decide I was going to increase the luminance range on the top half over here. So if you wanted to make a bit more of that street area than buildings, black rather than white, I think this adds a lot of cool more detail back into the shot. So that's how I'm going to leave it for my final result. But that's pretty much going to be it for how you can create the two color threshold effect inside of DaVinci Resolve using fusion nodes. So I've been Chris, I hope you found this video to be useful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.